Hi, my name is Gotze from MP3 Car and welcome to Information Overload. Today we're going to talk about how you can put together your own uh, double DIN kit with the Subaru WRX double DIN uh, aluminum enclosure and the Lilliput 629 uh, 7-inch uh, touchscreen uh, monitor. Okay, uh, first we're going to go over um, the materials that you're going to need. Um, so you're going to need a little Phillips screwdriver, also my pointing tool. Uh, so you're going to need some uh, uh, goop or other um, adhesive. Um, make sure that it's uh, non-conductive. Uh, you're going to need the little put 629 inch, uh, 629 GL 7 inch uh, touchscreen monitor. And you're going to need all the parts that come with the Subaru uh, WRX or double DIN kit. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, disassemble uh, the little put 7 inch monitor and I'm just going to put this aside so I have a little bit more room. Uh, before I start disassembling uh, the first thing I did is test the little put monitor and before you start disassembling I'm going to warn you you're going to need to crack it open which means you're going to void your warranty. So um, I would definitely make sure that it works first so that way that's why we're testing it so I plugged it uh, before we started I uh, plugged it in really quick so I tested whether it powers on, uh, whether the touch screen works and whether um, the display is okay and shows everything fine. So uh, this unit turned out to be good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disassemble it. So I'm going to put these aside for now uh, until I need them again. Um, so there's four screws on the back of the little pot that you're going to remove. One on each corner. The screws are out and before you do this again did I mention that you're gonna void your local warranty when you do this just to make sure that we're uh, on the same page. Uh, so what you're gonna do is there's a little tab on top a single tab right here that holds uh, the two um, halves of the bezel together so you're gonna kinda feel your way on top and kinda squeeze to crack it open. Okay there it is Okay, so don't pull these two halves all the way apart. Uh, there's um, cables that you're going to need to disconnect first. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, disconnect the ribbon cable. This is where all your um, signal goes to the uh, LCD monitor. So it's a little, uh, there's a little gray tab. I don't know if you can see. Um, so what I'm going to when you're gonna flip this tab up, be really, really careful because it is uh, really fragile. So just kind of dig a nail underneath it and pull straight up. Okay, and it's gonna flip open. So just pull um, the ribbon cable out. Next, uh, you're gonna pull. Uh, this is the ribbon cable that um, uh, it's for. Uh, the actual touch panel. So what you're going to do, there's a little uh, dark gray uh, tab. So what you're going to do is put two nails on each side on dark gray and just pull down. I'm just going to slide down and just pull the ribbon cable out. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to disconnect um, all the wires that are uh, pretty much for the button panel. So just pull on this down and there you go. We're going to take uh, the LCD part from the bezel. So there's uh, four um, tabs that are holding it down. So I'm just going to unscrew these. You're going to see the way the LCD bracket is. There's a little um, um, cutout part right here. So that is where uh, the ribbon cable for the touch screen fits into. So you just kind of orient that, just to slide it in. So this is how it's supposed to look. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the button panel out from the frame. So there's two, four, there's six screws on that. And I'm going to take uh, the PCB board out of the uh, bezel as well. What you're going to do is there's two uh, spacer tabs. Uh, that you're going to need to mount. So um, this L bracket, um, they're what 
uh, two different um, and the uh, the longer one goes on the left hand side of the unit and <clears throat> the shorter one goes on the right hand side um, and the way that I have the board oriented with uh, the touchscreen ribbon cable on the very bottom you can use uh, four long screws for those